Nothing fancy again. I have a Phoenix P3D light that I'm talking about here in the high desert area. It is nightfall as you can tell. Uh, this is another video showing the capabilities of Phoenix lights in general. These will be addendum videos, in other words, kind of fleshing out my tabletop review so you can see how they perform. I hope indeed that uh, this little camera I got is capturing it adequately. I think it is, judging from the viewfinder, I'm not sure. Usually at night you're going to get a grainy image as it struggles to capture enough light. That's just kind of how we're going to have to go. Because guess what, we are in the middle of the desert out here. There's no one around for miles and miles. And I'll stop talking so you can just hear how quiet it is. See what I'm talking about? Great flashlight clinic. I mean, really, it's the best. And there's no ambient light here, so we can really see what a light's doing. If I turn it off, dudes, we're in total blackness out here. I look, up, I look up in the sky, and it is a beautiful starlit night. I don't, oh, we have about a half moon out there. And I don't want to show, well, I'll show you. Here you go. You see the moon peeking up out there. Stars. It's a beautiful night. All right, so we're talking about the P3D, uh, it's different modes. Again, that'll be covered in tabletop. This is the lowest mode again. There's mid, there's next highest. Then if I want to go to turbo, I have to rotate the bezel to the left, i.e. counterclockwise. Bam, there's turbo mode. I can do strobe by tapping the rear switch again. That's a great tactical mode too, to disorient your opponent. And I do think uh, the P3D would be a good weapons light, and I suspect that the Cree LEDs it uses and how it's housed would be fairly shock resistant. So let's go ahead and break out now. Sorry, let me turn this this way. I'm going to break out now the big brother. This is the Phoenix TK10, if I'm saying that right. Yep, OD. I really love the OD coloration on it and look for my tabletop review of that. But let's see how it performs. And this doesn't have all the fancy dancy modes. It just basically has two high and low. And here we go. There's your low mode. And let's compare it against the, on the left, the Phoenix P3D. Let me just boost it up. Not bad, the P3D does pretty darn good, doesn't it? I think it does. Very nice. They run on the same batteries, two CR123 lithium batteries. I like that battery, by the way. I like it because it's very nice in cold weather. It doesn't uh, lose or dissipate in coldness like a normal AA battery. They do make lithium AA batteries. I realize that. There we go on target. By the way, that target's about 20 yards away. And then we're looking in the distance. The beam right now is showing on a tree about 100 yards away. And that is a TK-10 in its lowest mode. Here comes a P3D Delta on the left. And that's a middle mode right there. Right there. And then let's go turbo. Turbo with a P3D. Accidentally hit strobe. Man, it does a really nice job. You can see that tree off in the distance, 100 yards away. Even though it doesn't have that totally focused beam that I mentioned in the other video, it does very nice. Let's bring the TL. TK10 in turbo mode and see what, what we have and prepare to be impressed. Bam! Look at that sucker. Night turns to day. This is the best light that I have out here that's going to show that tree 100 yards away. And the target at 20 yards is completely illuminated. Look at that beam. That's, what do they say, like 215... Let's see, TK10, and again, I'll cover the specifics in my tabletop review, but that's 225 lumens, they're saying. Wow, very impressed. So, that's turbo mode for the TK10. There's on target, there's a tree 100 yards away. Truly amazing. Let's go back to the P3D in turbo mode, and it is no slouch either. Very nice. I think the beam on the right, due to the larger reflector of the TK-10, is better culminated. And just very nice. And I think it'll throw farther because of the larger reflector. Very decent. Very nice. So you can see how the beam on the P3D, like I say, is not really culminated. I hope I'm saying that word right. 
perfectly that it does lose a little bit of intensity as it travels farther versus and this is in turbo mode the t the p3d i'm showing you here and here's the tk10 turbo mode on that tree 100 yards away you can't really tell perspective it looks like it's close to that target but trust me it's back a ways there's that target wow very impressed uh, tabletop review I'll cover the you know the weak uh, the strengths and weaknesses of each design and then I'm also going to go over uh, the construction and the philosophy of use as well so that's a p3d and the TK10 out in Nutton Fancy's tactical clinic in the middle of the desert on a beautiful starlit evening maybe I'll do a couple more thanks for watching guys Nutton Fancy see ya